Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in another video, I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So recently we just hit 30,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Um, if you are new to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications, it means so much to me everybody. Um, I can't explain it enough, thank you so much, we're on the way to 50,000, which is amazing. Um, and join the Discord in the description. Now, I'm going to be posting out some videos pretty soon here, I got some cool ones coming out. Um, I'm trying my best to just keep working on them guys. I'm really really busy right now And I really want to grow in subscribers So I'm trying to do shorts and YouTube videos at the same time. So it's a lot But um, yeah, so today you're probably wondering what are we doing today? Oh, we're gonna be making these shirts and pants command now you guys are probably like twin You've made a lot of commands. I have I have made a lot of commands. I will say that for sure um, But this one is a little different. Um, this one is just a Example for the shirts and the pants. Now, I did make a uniform video where it's like uniform command, but um, people are wondering how you can make a shirt and pant command, which is kind of nice because you can make an outfit outfit game and have persons, you know, like people like try on shirts and pants, and this could work for vibe games as well. Um, so. We're gonna get right into it. So you're gonna go to the description and you're gonna grab that little model link um, and make sure to download it or claim it, whatever you like. Um, and once you do this, you're actually gonna head straight into studio. It's really simple and easy. Um, and you're just gonna go to your inventory right here. So I try, can't really see that real quick, but you're just gonna click that shirts and pants, hit okay, and it's gonna load it in for you. Now you're gonna move this into server script service. Once you do that, you're pretty much done. <laughs> um, I'm gonna explain bit by bit what we did now. Um, there is a few things. Now you're probably like, oh, this is a lot. I made three versions for you just because I felt like I kind of missed my other commands. And I know you guys are always asking, like, how do you make it a group version or a game pass version? So did that for you. Right here we have the free version, which is already working. So you don't need to worry. If you want to make this a free one, put this in your game and you're good. And you can delete these if you'd like. Now, um, right here we have the game pass version. And then right here we have the group version. So it's actually really, really simple. Um, I'm just gonna go straight through this from top to bottom real quick. So we grab the marketplace service. This is for the Game Pass version. Um, we have a group ID and a Game Pass ID. Now, if you don't know how to get a group ID or Game Pass ID, simply just go. I'm just gonna grab like a shirt template real quick because we're gonna be doing this in general. And you're just gonna go to the link of like your. Let's say you have the group open or the Game Pass open. Um, just grab that number right here. Once you do this, you're gonna load right into here and put it right in one of these spots. So. Basically right here, this is how we do this. When a player gets added, we check when their character appearance is loaded, as in saying their character. We grab character as the local variable. Now we check when the player chats. Every time a player chats, this is the free version, we are going to make lower, lower stream message, string message, sorry guys, and we're gonna make an argument variable. Now in here, we check for the humanoid and right here is where we actually do the command. So. If args one, as in saying, if the message is just slash shirt, okay, if it's just slash actually, if it's just slash right here, prefix, then it turns into shirt, then we are gonna do all this. Now, I wanna talk about the prefix real quick. You're probably like, what is a prefix? So if you look right here in this script right here, this here, there's an attribute, it's called a prefix. Now I'm gonna just kind of zoom in right here and you're able to change this to whatever you like. You could literally go like this and it will still work. Um, exclamation points, you can do slashes, you can do semicolons, you can do colons, whatever you like. This is currently to you. Now, this is what you do, like if you were to say slash sword or slash shirt, you know, that's what we're gonna be doing. So it's gonna be a slash, and we're gonna check if it's a, it's a shirt. Now, if it's a shirt, we're gonna grab the shirt ID, which is gonna be argument variable too. So it'd be like slash sword, I mean, slash, God, slash shirt, and then the numbers, which is the argument variable too. So, then we're gonna get the local description of the humanoid. Now, this is what kind of confused me. I was on DevWorm today and I like was so confused. Why isn't this working? Because when you did the uniform command, now it works by grabbing it from the player and it from in the game. That's because Roblox grabs the ID from catalog, but it in inserts it and it like changes the ID itself. So when you're basically would try to just put an ID in here, like you, what I tried at first was doing using Roblox asset ID slash slash then the ID, it wouldn't work. So we're basically be grabbing the humanoid description and be setting it to this new one right here. So then if it's if they did the pants version, then we're gonna do the pants. So that's what the description dot shirt description dot pants. Now think about this. I'm gonna show you in a second here. Um, so actually we're gonna try this out and just show you what I mean. And then we're gonna go to the game passing group version. Super simple stuff, nothing too hard. Um, but um, as you guys may tell in a second here, I actually just got my little Halloween outfit on. Yeah, it's pretty drip. 
just kidding. <laughs> um, I just tried something though. But so I think I did. What did I just copy? A shirt? Yeah. So slash shirt. And then I do this. All right. So as you can tell, it worked perfectly fine. Nothing too hard. Now, if you were to go into workspace, you can see a little more how this works in depth. If we open up Twin Plays Dev, which is just me right here walking around, um, you can see the pants and the shirt. So this is what the description is. And well, you know, actually, you know, you could do the humanoid too, um, but it's the description right here. And we're going to be grabbing the pants and the shirt. Now, Roblox just added a humanoid description. So this is kind of what I wanted to talk about. Um, as you guys can tell now, this humanoid description is going to be basically changing this shirt and pants. So that's kind of what we're doing right here. Now, it's really, really cool. So if I were to even just get rid of my graphic shirt, oh, well, you know, whatever um i guess you can't really do that because we're not applying it um but the whole point is you know we're we're basically changing what's on here now i do have the pants so maybe i'll just do that real quick so slash pants and then like this um see how it just did that just kind of canceled me out and i go back down and the pants are changed so yeah pretty pretty jip outfit right here with the roblox you know bit bit shorts whatever the hell these are <laughs> Um, yeah, so really simple, you guys. Now, if you want to just quickly look on how do you do the other one, you basically will just uh, control all of this and hit, uh, sorry, control slash. It will comment it all out for you. Now, if you go to the Game Pass version, you just go down here and do the same thing again, and it'll be open for you. Now, what we did here is we check if the player owns a Game Pass, and if they own a Game Pass, we do everything in here, and if they don't, we print doesn't own a Game Pass. Super simple stuff. Um, so nothing too hard with that. And you're grabbing the player.user ID and the game pass ID right here to check if they own it. Then the group version, nothing too crazy. Um, you would just do if player is in group, group ID. Then if they're not, we just put print not in group. So super simple stuff, you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them below. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial. Nothing too hard and crazy. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you subscribe, comment, like, and share. Bye-bye, you guys. You guys have a great Halloween. I'll post more videos and i'll do a live stream very soon here bye, -bye.